Okay, so there is a que there are two a question and a comment in the chat box. During the seating pro I don't know what the seating process, but ultimately it says when is a good time to tell your significant other you're trans or androgynous? I think that like it's hard now with like social media and stuff. People already know who you are. Like they're gonna know within the first like they're gonna want to know your IG and TikTok and things of that nature. So I think they're gonna find out fairly quickly um, if you're like living a stealth life and nobody knows. And I think it's important to express that on the first day. What up, insiders? Jay the Gentleman here. That's at J-A-I, the gentleman on IG. I had a conversation with Brax Fleming of Stealth Bros and Co. And the conversation really was inspired by, you know, some of my own deep feelings. I, of course, believe that black trans lives matter. We lose trans life way too frequently um, in our culture. But a lot of that is fueled by misogyny, by trans phobia within black gay culture. And so I wanted to uh, have this part of the conversation because yes, being trans, there is, you know, a level of disclosure because you want to, the other person to know what you're getting into. But from a cisgender perspective um, and as a trans advocate, I think I wanted to also make sure that I took responsibility for the space that we create. I truly believe that it is our responsibility to create safe space for trans people to disclose and feel comfortable telling us their vulnerable pieces, their being courageous. Um, so that's really kind of the backstory on this particular part of the conversation. If you're interested in black gay content, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you never miss a thing on Dear Black Gay Men on YouTube. Check this out. I mean, I don't see why it's a problem to hide it. And like I try to tell even my following on social media, like if you go into a date, they don't know you're trans. You're having a wonderful date. You want to tell this person you're trans. Just say that you're trans and be confident about it and act like it's not a big deal. The moment that you're like, I'm trans and I don't know how you're gonna feel about this. And uh, you know, you start bringing all these negative emotions and energies, that person's gonna receive that negative energy and spew it right back at you. And then you're mad at them because you're saying they're judging you when in reality, you gave them that energy to begin with. If you go in there like I do and just say, yeah, I'm a man of trans experience. And they're like, what, really? And I'm like, yeah, it's it's great. And then they're like, they're like, well, have you had surgery? And I'm like, nah, I got something else. And they're like, well, what do you have? And I'm like, nah, you can't know about that. Talk that talk, they're gonna be interested. They're gonna learn more about you. They're, they're gonna be, they're gonna wanna know what's going on. You get what I'm saying? So you just have to like- First. You have to do that, you know, you just have to do it. Well, first, first, let me say this. B, Brax, you can't be whispering in my ear like that. You are okay, literally in I'm my sorry. ear. You can't, right. I'm a single man right. and you are a taken man. You can't be, <laughs> you can't do that to me. <laughs> you can't do that to me. But I'm here for every word you said. The second okay. thing is, um, I, I, I say... It, let me be clear being trans is not a disease it is not like hiv but i do talk to a lot of people living with hiv and i i'm not but it's a non-factor to me but they bring a lot of that same baggage that you just mentioned to conversations where they're disclosing gender expression they're disclosing hiv status disclosing all these things and putting all this negative weight on it and then giving that to me and then wondering why i'm like I don't know what to do with that. But one thing I will say is um, on the other side of that same conversation as someone who is cisgendered, it, I would say tell the person you're dating the first instance that you feel safe enough to do so. Yes, the the very true. first instance you feel safe enough to yes, do so. When you're having that deep conversation and things are, you know, spicy. That's when you want to tell the person that you're trans or whatever you would like to disclose at that time because you're in a vulnerable state, the other person's in a vulnerable state, and you're connecting on an emotional level. And I think that's best yeah. to be honest and open. 
and you feel safe around that person, obviously, because you're being vulnerable. So I think that's the best time to do it as well. If you like that, click the screen to watch the full conversation. We're new on YouTube every Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern. I am Jay the Gentleman. That's at J-A-I the Gentleman on IG. Until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.